What your pee color reveals about your health. Since the earliest days of medicine, urine has been a valuable tool of diagnosis. Medical professionals can tell a lot about what's going on in your body based on the color of your urine. From dehydration to urinary tract infection and even kidney disease, it may come as a surprise to learn that urine can have a vast spectrum of colors, and they all mean different things. You may have noticed the color of urine can vary daily. Generally speaking, there's no cause for alarm, but it never hurts to consult your doctor if you're worried. Foods, drinks, medications, and food dyes can all cause color changes. In other cases, these changes can be triggered by a health condition you don't want to ignore. Urine is produced when blood passes through your kidneys, filtering out excess waste and water. Urine is your body's liquid waste and is mostly made up of water, but also includes salt and chemicals like urea and uric acid. This waste travels through tubes known as ureters and is stored in your bladder until you urinate. In most cases, the color depends on the dilution of the urochrome pigment. This pigment is created during the breakdown of hemoglobin. In most cases, abnormal pea colors are simply a result of dehydration, something you've consumed, or a side effect of a medication you're using. In some cases, a serious medical condition could be causing the discoloration. Here are a few different urine colors and what they could potentially indicate. No color or transparent urine. Transparent or clear urine means you are drinking plenty of water. Although it's rare to drink too much water, it is recommended to cut back a bit if you see this shade of pee. Clear urine sends a clear message. You might be drinking too much water. Of course, your body needs water to stay hydrated and function properly. The general rule of thumb is to drink 64 fluid ounces or 8 glasses of water a day to keep your system working at peak efficiency. Exceeding this amount of liquid can make your urine look like the water you swallow. Plus, you'll be making lots of extra trips to the restroom as your body works to flush out all that extra fluid. The occasional clear pee isn't a big deal, especially when you've had lots of water on a hot day. However, if it's an ongoing issue, you could potentially be lowering your salt and electrolyte levels below what your body needs. So, what if your pee is clear and you're not knocking back glass after glass of water? That may be a sign of diabetes or underlying kidney problems. In that case, it's best to see your doctor for a quick checkup to make sure everything is okay. Pale yellow or gold urine. This color is good news. If your pee is pale yellow to gold, you're in the ideal section of the urine color chart. When everything is healthy and functioning normally, your urine should be a pale straw to a golden yellow color. Urine that falls in the pale yellow category indicates that you're sufficiently hydrated. The yellowish color is caused by a pigment called urochrome, which is produced by your body. It is helpful to regularly pay attention to your urine to see your normal pea color. That way you'll be able to tell when it's different. Amber or Honey Urine if your pee is amber or honey color, your body is talking to you. It's basically saying, please, drink some water. A darker hue is a sign of mild dehydration. Your urine is a more concentrated mix due to the lower than necessary level of fluid in your system. This can happen if you just finished a workout or you've been outside sweating on a hot day. Refill your tank with some good old H2O and the color of your pee should go back to normal. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We work hard to make these videos, and your support goes a long way. Okay, back to pea colors. Bright Yellow Urine If you pop a handful of vitamins and supplements during your morning routine, they could be the culprit behind your bright pea or neon pea. Bright yellow urine is generally less harmless. It's simply a sign that you are taking more vitamins and supplements than your body needs. You may want to check with your healthcare practitioner on what vitamins your body doesn't need as much of, so you can reduce your intake. Brown or ale urine. Brown color pee can have more severe complications. The most common reason is because you have severe dehydration and the water level in your body has just crossed the line into a more worrisome zone. You need to drink water urgently. Brown urine could also mean a possible liver condition due to an excess of bile. 
If you have a melanoma skin cancer, your body could be adding skin pigment in circulation that's ending up in your urine. Brown urine could be misconstrued as very dark red, which could be caused by blood. On the less serious side, brown or ale color urine could also be caused by the large consumption of aloe, fava beans, or rhubarb. If you haven't eaten anything that could cause brown pee and rehydrating doesn't lighten up your urine, you need to see a doctor. Pink or red urine Pink or red urine can also signify that something is seriously wrong in your body. This may mean you have blood in your pee, or it could be a sign of kidney stones, kidney disease, cancers of the bladder or kidneys, urinary tract infection, lead or mercury poisoning, or a prostate problem. However, red or pink pee could also be as harmless as having eaten blueberries, beetroot, or rhubarb, or if you recently did a strenuous activity. If beetroot, blueberries, or rhubarb entered your digestive system within the last day or so, you might be seeing the results in your pee. If you haven't eaten anything like that, there may be a reason for concern, and you should contact your doctor immediately. Orange urine Orange pee may mean you're on your way to being dehydrated and need water. A more serious implication could be that you have a liver or bile duct condition. But if you just ate large amounts of carrots, carrot juice, or consumed something with food dye, this is probably the cause. Many medications can also turn urine orange, including medication for urinary relief, anti-inflammatory drugs, tuberculosis treatment, some laxatives, high doses of riboflavin, and certain chemotherapy drugs. Rehydrate first and contact your healthcare practitioner if the orange color doesn't return to normal. Blue and green urine. This is an odd color to see, but luckily green or blue pee is not very common. One of the causes could be a rare genetic disease or a bacterium causing a urinary tract infection. However, it's most likely caused by a medication or food dye in something you ate. Watch out for those green eggs and ham. Certain pain relievers, antidepressants, stomach acid drugs, and anesthetics are the most well known for turning your urine blue. Asparagus could also add a greenish tinge, but you'll know if this green vegetable is the cause because of the identifiable smell. See your doctor if your urine does not return to a normal color. Cloudy or foamy urine. Changes in the consistency of your pee, including if it's cloudy or foamy, can be a signal of urinary tract infections, an excess of certain minerals, a symptom of chronic disease, or a sign of a kidney condition. If your urine is cloudy with foam or bubbles, it could be a symptom of diverticulitis or Crohn's disease. In some cases, it might just mean you're dehydrated. Foamy or fizzy urine could also indicate that you've got excess protein in your diet because you love steak and eat loads of red meat, or you're on a ketogenic diet. When to see a medical professional? Often, there is no cause for concern, and changes to your urine are temporary and harmless. They result from dehydration, eating certain foods, or taking medications and vitamins. In some cases, changes can be a sign of a more significant underlying condition. Anytime you see blood in your pee or notice it's brown or orange, it may be time to seek medical attention and make an appointment with your primary health care provider. This is especially true if the color change lasts more than a day or two and is accompanied by pain while urinating. Just remember, it's completely normal for the color of your pee to vary day by day but it should stay within a certain range of yellow, unless you're a huge fan of beetroot, 